So guys, no one can hear me right now. Well, probably. Because my internet does not like to work for the first 30 seconds. Well, I've heard that's a normal streaming problem. Okay, let me get my controller up and running, which is currently stuck in my computer, other computer, apparently. Laptop problems. You just unplugged something from the audio jack. No, I didn't. You're wrong. Completely, completely wrong. There we go. Okay. We got Steam up. We got Hollow Knight up. Preparing to launch. at the right setting so that my head isn't getting pounded with way too loud music. There we go. Okay. Let's see, been two minutes? Good. Okay, so we can start. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Older Bro Streams, right here on Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, Older Bro, and today, we continue in Hollow Knight. Now, I have completely forgotten all the things that I said I was going to do, so we'll see how many of them I remember as we go into uh, today's video. I'm certain that one of them was definitely that we were going to go through and fight the second boss, if I can figure out how to uh, get to that boss. So, let's see if we can figure that out. Back to the Forgotten Crossroads. Apparently. Yep, I remember being here. And I remember I was also going to go and do some shopping if I could. So let's... Let's see. Uh, not that map. This map. Okay. I already went and bought from this guy, as I recall. And... Are you a shop? Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a shop. I'm not certain. I don't remember what's here. But yeah. Anyways, the point is trying to get up here and also this shop. So, both these things today. I'll probably end up starting with this one just to get it out of the way, so I don't have to worry about uh, losing money. Although, let's be honest, I'm fighting a boss, I'll lose money. So, let's get up there and deal with all these guys. Uh, fastest way is this way. Come on. There we go. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Through this piece of crap. Ow. Okay. Uh, 
There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, and one more up. Okay. Come on. Just because I want... I'm gonna try to get health from these guys. I'm already full. Okay, let me heal before I kill myself, stupidly. One, two, three, and four. Okay, perfect. Ow. I'm really not paying attention. Okay. Get better, get better. Pay more attention. Okay, let's just ascend straight up. Get healed. Now, where the heck is this place? Oh, it's down there? Oh, well, I took the most non-logical path possible. Uh, okay. Yeah, the fastest way is gonna be now to go through, not there. It's now gonna be to go up here and go through the, tra the not tram, the uh, stag station. Worst possible direction could have taken. Okay, anyways. Sorry, guys, I'm distracted by thinking about the, uh, the Nintendo Direct today. So I am completely, like, half paying attention to myself. Forgotten Crossroads. Any thoughts on that Pokemon? Yeah. On that Pokemon Direct today. I'll give as few spoilers as possible and just say that the ob the obvious announcement was made. What did you think about it? I thought everything looked really good. Very hopeful. thinking that it's at the tram way that this person is because I don't know why. It's just something is lodged itself in my head that that area is the tram. I think it's because of how large and open it is. I just assume it must be the tram. Okay. Time to buy all the charm slots. Almost all the charm slots. Okay, let's go get some money. Ow. That's not the best way to get money. Once again, there's nothing in here, right? Keeps looking like there's gonna be something in here. Never seems to be anything in here. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. Boop. Boop. Wait for the health to return. Almost there. Just gotta get a hundred. Which is not the easiest in this area. But, you know, doable. Uh, 
Oh, money. Where are you? Not here, apparently. It's interesting that there's a heartbeat sound here. Is there some secret area or something? I feel like there should be. Nope, definitely not. Can't even get on that area. Weird. Why can't I get on that area? Hmm. Anyways. Come now, money. Uh, you go down to the City of Tears. You're probably not the biggest money maker. Well, I mean, you're a decently sized money maker. It's just, you're not a decently sized money maker immediately. So, whatever. Fine, down to the City of Tears. Thank you. Okay, grinding for a small amount of money. Oh yeah, that is where I am. See, by small amount of money, I bit meant a bit more than that. But okay. We'll get there. Fine, I hear it. Come here. That's a bit better. Uh, it's the stag station. Don't want to go there. Down we go. Just need a few bits of money. Not very much. Just a bit. That's getting there. Getting there. Whoop. I don't know what just happened. My task manager just appeared and I can't see. Okay, there we go. Now I can see. Let me move this over so I can continue to see. Bad task manager. Resize you a little bit. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Not pretty. Reminds me, I need to set my streaming background. Set as streaming background. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about the GPU getting maxed out partially because of my background. So, there we go. Come here. Just a little bit more. Seven more, in fact. That should be enough. Perfect. Uh, how far away did I get? Not that bad. Ow. Uh, nope, I guess get stuck on the side. That seems so totally like a... Thank you. That seems totally like a place they would have something, but there just isn't anything. Uh, wrong way, right? It's this way? Yes. Try that again. I guess I could have actually made that one. By the way, if I sound weird, guys, my throat started to get sore, and I'm starting to wonder if I didn't get whatever the heck younger bro was complaining about. Which is annoying. Because I always tried my best to avoid all illnesses whenever someone else is sick. By well, mostly just staying in my room away from people. And that for some reason doesn't work all the time. Darn you people. Having to have, you know, illnesses in public or whatever. Come here. 
Here to buy your stock. Your blessing. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've got some charm slots, and I need to figure out what to do with them. I mean, I could obviously do this one. Or not this one. Um, because we already have that one. Uh, we can obviously do... Let's see. Where was the one? That's the over-charmed one. Right. Charms do I have? Gain soul while taking damage. Thorns. Magnet. Compass. Uh, those are fragiles. I don't like them. Reduces the soul, er, the soul cost of spells. That's the one that makes you not recoil. That causes more recoil from the enemies. This is the long nail, which I like. That one's nice. Quick focus. I am going to take the long nail. I'm going to save to keep that. Okay. Out of here. Now we go back the way we came because we actually had to go towards the city in order to do this. So. Oops. No, this is going to be messy anyway. See? Maybe I'm just missing it. But with this heartbeat sound, this immediately makes me think, there's a boss somewhere in here that I need to kill to end this corruption. And I'm not, and I'm guessing that's not the case, based on the little bit of reading I've done. But, wouldn't that be kind of cool to, like, kill whatever the heart of this plague is? I think it would be. Right. I keep forgetting that it isn't just a straight shot. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I need to stop trying to be fast. One, two, three... going here save here less backtracking okay and the fastest route to where I'm trying to go is actually probably the stag station no station please I know you might say but that doesn't make sense you're taking it to a basically just equivalent distance yeah but this way it's straighter means I'll get less confused, which is better in the long run. Slow down. Up and over. Uh. Call the elevator. Up. Not up enough. Okay. So now, we just can basically go up from here. Yeah, the long nail is nice. Just because it it definitely increases your range. This is a weird room. In that it causes a lot of lag for some reason. And also just has a bench in it. Okay, anyways.
Up we go. Back to where we were last time. Which is this weird place. Now, I've already gone that way. So I don't need to go that way. And sure, I'll take you out. Why not? Thank you for the like negative health you gave me. Up. Oop. That was close. Okay. We have two ways up. I think they both lead to the same location. So I'm going to take the right one. So quiet. Ow. I'm gonna heal up here momentarily. Thank you. Okay, good. Please never be evil again. Okay, so I guess I was wrong. These don't lead to the same location. But they do. Actually, they do. Excuse me. But it seems like instead of... It seems like one's kind of cordoned off. So let's go to literally the same room. Up. What the heck? Cool. Whoop, looks like a broken a chandelier. I don't like the look of this. The Watcher Knight. Okay. So it looks like mostly I just need to hit and swing and jump. Oop. I did. Oop. I'm doing terribly now. Okay. That boss actually wasn't that hard, just for some reason at the end there I got completely flabbergasted. I don't know why. So let's try that again and, you know, do better. That was 100% my fault, 100% terrible. I don't know what happened. Okay. Ah, boss days are always the most fun days in Hollow Knight. Well, in any game, but... Especially games like Hollow Knight. Metroidvania games are always the best during their boss times. Because that's the point of Metroidvania. Get all these powers, beat the bosses. Yeah, thank you. I'll take the stairs. Uh, before I do that, do I have to re-knock down the... Oh, okay, good. Come on. All right, thank you. Ow. You missed.
How don't you just love when you get a call from the United States? Sorry about this, guys. Give me a second. Just gonna meet that. Definitively spam call. One down. Probably means they're gonna... Yep. Exactly what I thought. They're just gonna spawn another one. Okay. Before I continue on in here, let me get out of the, the, the lag room again. Okay. This is actually a very nice little location, so I can sort of heal up before the boss. Anyways, um... I want to make sure there is definitely not anything else in that side room. Because if we if we found basically a secret to destroy one chandelier, it would stand to reason that you can take the other one out. Which could obviously only be done in the other room, because, well, there's no more room in that other room. I said the word other too many times. Basically, I want to go into this room and see if there's a way to knock down the chandelier that I missed the first time, because I didn't know there was a chandelier. Wait, you can get in here? What the heck am I supposed to do here? I... <laughs> okay, I didn't have much money. It was only like a hundred bucks, but... Like, that's bullshit. Like, there was nothing you could do there. You can't... That was not thought out well by the developers. Again, I don't blame the developer for that problem. I don't say that it was their fault that I died there. That's not the case. Maybe they should have thought of the fact that somebody might try to go back into that room after, you know, they'd killed the entire thing, and that the enemies respawn, and maybe that that person would get stuck in the, could get stuck in the corner if they didn't make the hitbox of that area too large, or too small for the, uh, the big guy to get in. Like, yeah, you could eat, obviously cheese him from doing that, but you already did it once. Who cares if you cheese him? And now I have to go back and get my myself from here, because otherwise I can't get Max Soul. Come on, me. Thank you. Okay, let's not deal with that room anymore. Since we don't need to deal with that room anymore. Because, yeah, there definitely does not appear to be anything in here. Or if there is, it's too well hidden for my understanding. So are we just going to trust that we can only take down that one elevator and... Uh, or that one chandelier and uh, move on? Interesting though that you can only take down the one out, oh, the one chandelier. Yeah, they put in a hard ceiling. Okay. What the heck am I gonna handle this? I mean, besides getting good, obviously, that's the always answer. It looks like they're at least nice in that you can only deal with two at once. Like, they don't, like, force you to take on three of these guys.
Okay. I don't like this boss. Also, is there a better save room anywhere but here? One that doesn't lag the game. No. Great. Gonna have to deal with that lag every single time we come back here. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I just don't have the feel for these guys. Like, I know what they're about. I know how you're supposed to fight them, more or less. I just haven't figured out a strategy for adequately dealing with more than one of them at once. Like, if they were both doing- if they were doing this in tandem. Like, if this was the, uh... Uh, the one guys we fought earlier. The Mantis leaders. Where they do it in tandem, that's fine, because they're doing the same attacks. Or they're doing them one after another in a pre very predictable way. But these guys don't have really a way to predict them, because they kind of just do their attacks more or less at random. So, like, when I come in here and get locked in... And one of them's here, it's fine. Not that you can't take damage from these guys one-on-one. -on -one. You can, from being stupid or not being fast enough or whatever. But you can't, it's harder. It's like there. Like, obviously, you can take damage from these guys one-on-one. -on -one. But like that, how are you supposed to avoid that? That's like a perfectly placed attack that makes it impossible. I, I, I don't understand what the goal of fighting these guys are. Well, I, that's not the right wording. I, I don't understand what the methodology is supposed to be for fighting these guys, I guess. Other than just, again, the generic wording of avoid them. Because like, obviously, you're supposed to avoid them. But what's supposed to be your methodology for that? Because obviously you're supposed to take down the other chandelier. It seems like that only improves your chances. And there isn't another room or another way up. So I don't... There's no, like, secret other thing. It's just this boss. As far as I can tell, this is how you have to get to the, um... Get to the, uh, the dreamer. So, I guess I don't get what they're going for here. This feels like a boss that isn't supposed to be a boss. It feels like it's supposed to be a mini-boss, and you shouldn't have that much trouble with it, but I just don't get how you're supposed to fight it. Like, there's just too many... Oh, taking them. Yeah, taking this guy kills one of them. The boss has healing points. These guys aren't healable. It, it, am I misunderstanding something? Can I secretly attack the, the orange stuff? And that's what I'm supposed to be doing? I don't get it. How are you supposed to fight these guys? Like, it just seems like they're unwinnable. It, it doesn't, there doesn't seem to be a methodology for this.
I don't know. Like, it feels like this isn't, and like, it's rare that I say it doesn't feel like this is my fault, but it, like, it doesn't feel like there's a, a, an obviously choreographed way of fighting these guys. It seems like it's just supposed to be kill them quick enough that they can't spawn more. But you can't do that. The first one, sure, you can, but the second one goes so fast as to not be possible. And like, maybe, what, is the, is the chandelier supposed to be a hint? You have to crush the, the, the things? But I don't have an ability that does that. Unless this does that. And it doesn't. So, I don't get what they're on about. boss is this again? Hold on. Let me, let me look at my... Not that. Yes. Obviously, that's what I should do. Try to dash through and bypass the collision. Uh, does it not put bosses in until you've beat them? Or am I just in the wrong area? this one. It's not those. Mistake and folly. Oh, that's cool. There's the soul master, the soul warrior. Nosk. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. I... I don't know. I do not know how to deal with these guys, effectively. I... And I can't find their name. I can't really look them up. Like, these guys are just... Okay. I guess I could take off the compass again and the magnet and put on, like, the Fury of the Fallen, or... Whatever this is. Quick focus is nice, but that would over-focus me. I don't know. What is your guy's name? The Watcher Knight. Okay, I'll remember that. Okay. Thank you, sirs. I don't get this boss. It can't just be slow and steady because slow and steady isn't viable on this boss. With two different guys coming at you, sometimes from across the screen where you can't see them, like, and keeping them close isn't really viable either because one can just do, you know, the up, the upward attack and one can do the ground attack. 
which basically means you can't jump to avoid it, you can't dash to avoid it, and you die. Come here, me. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm gonna look at this. Because, Hmm. Okay. I'll see if I can do that. Oh, it's cool. They give them collision so that you can't dash through them. Basically, the guy is just like, yeah, jump. Jump attack them. That doesn't really solve the problem I have with them. See, this. Even if I jump attack one. One can, is, can already be in motion jump attacking me. So what am I... Okay, first off, let me take off these excess things right now. I don't need... Take them all. Thank you. Uh, this GP is just gonna be terrible in this room. Okay. Um, no. We'll do this one. We'll... Sorry, I can't do that one. Right. It's the one I want to do, but can't use it. Long nails on. That's the other long nail. This is the one I'm probably using. More damage. Can't use that one. Uh, could use that one. That basically allows you to heal in mid battle. Let me see what this one is. This one's probably not going to be used, but let me see what it is. Cute. But yeah, no, not right now. We can take that other times. What does. Sorry. Yes, let's try doing that one momentarily. I'm not using it, but I want to see what it does. I wonder if it only protects while you're swinging. This, not this one. Uh, sorry, forgot it wasn't on the bench. Uh, this one doesn't seem that useful in this battle. The Thorn of Agony. So I'm gonna try this combination and see how this works. What I want to see is if this only works while. I wasn't really conclusive. I'm trying to figure out if the shield protects you only when you're swinging. Or 
Or is it less? Th it does seem to protect you when you're not swinging. Okay. Good to know. Let me try this out. I make no claim to knowing the perfect combination. Ooh, that was nice. So we'll try this for this battle. This should mean that while, like, while we're above them and swinging, they're also taking damage from this. Also wonder if I can hit my uh, shade with this. Come here, shade. Oh. I mean, I can't hit him with it, but... Oh, damage. Yeah, it creates enough lag, you can't do it. Yeah, I hate this boss. I just outright hate it. It does not feel fair. I I don't believe it's unfair, but it feels unfair. And that's kind of bad from your bosses. If they don't feel fair... Again. Like... Dark Souls is hard, but fair. This doesn't have that feeling. This feels easy, but unfair. It feels like... All the mechanics for fighting this guy should be easily done and have no problem doing them. Yet, none of them want to work. Continue up, please. I apologize for my constant swinging. And the thing is, I think I have to go this way. It's just not I can avoid this boss and do something else. This is the only path. I use my jump attack and it just doesn't hit. Also, I love the fact that you still do damage while dying. That's cool. We might have to come back to this because I don't get how to fight this guy. It doesn't seem viable. Go to the left. Thank you. Uh, oh, insane. Okay, well, if I'm not doing this battle, then I need to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I guess the only thing left to do is continue on in here. But there's... I guess there's a warp. Go that way. I'm just gonna take a while to get back to. Uh, longer nail. You're always good. 
Um, yeah. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, fastest way back is yes, that way. Probably should go get my uh, shade, but nah, screw it. As bad as an idea as that is, screw it. not yet figured out what you're supposed to do with this area. Going to go to the distance station. Oh, I forgot I was also going to kill myself there. Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's do it out here. Oh, right, I can't really do that out here. Yeah, we'll go back to the King Station, kill myself there, and get my sh new shade, and then move on. Pfft, good job, me. Trying to die, so I... Okay. Now we're here. There we go. Now I can feel a little bit better about that. Okay, on we go. I don't know, you can get down there. Good job, you. Got my shade back. A different shade, but a shade nonetheless. Distant village. We gotta be getting close to finding all the stag stations and seeing where his uh, homeland is. Love when you just don't trigger. Well, I mean, I wanted to go down immediately, but okay, that works too. I wonder if anything's changed in the here. like it. Okay, the fastest way is probably a straight shot. through here. I think I'm doing this in the most weird way possible, but I did manage to get through. Come on up. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Come here. Oh, 
Why am I trying to get myself killed? God damn it. Fucking hell. I was just like, why am I trying to get myself killed? And immediately realized, oh, I'm also I'm once again stuck in a fucking corner. Okay. This I will start saying is now on the game. Yeah, technically, all these have been my fault. But the game allows the the game has collision that allows you to get stuck in corners where you just can't get out of them. The problems might all be mine, but there is no solution the game gives for allowing you to phase through enemies, which absolutely should be a method possible when you have enemies that can trap you in corners and you are unable to get away from them. Like, absolutely the game is doing something wrong there. Because again, if I can't get out of a corner, and an enemy can trap me there and basically kill me from inability to kill it. Yeah, that's the game's fault. If I can get trapped and get killed via, like, basically punched to death, that's your fault. Even if I'm the one who caused the... or caused myself to get stuck there, the fact that I don't have an out is on you. Not you. God damn it. No. Thank you. That jump so hard this time. Okay. No, go up, you piece of crap. No, don't go up there. Okay. Now, pushing through. Spikes. Thank you, Spikes. It's okay. There's a heal right nearby. All I gotta do is get to it more or less safely. That is easier said than done, though, in here. Occasionally there's a guy who spawn there, which is really weird since, you know, it's a basically a, a save point, and usually those save points don't have, like, that kind of thing. I swear, if I came all this way and there's nothing that I can do, I'm going to be very ticked off. Okay, there is nothing I can do here. This is unkillable. Really looking like a place that I can't do anything. It's gonna annoy me. There's two paths clearly here. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna look at the map. Go back to Kingdom's Edge. 
in the Coliseum of the Fools. Yeah, I kind of think I'll probably end up doing that. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. I jumped one too many. What the heck am I doing? Okay. Um. Okay. So the fastest way up there. Probably to the right through the tramway. And then into the palace. You're not supposed to do it that way. Did it anyways. Okay. Yep. Tram pass, please. Bring me the tram. Oh, went too far. Level one, I just go a little bit too far. You left. Okay, is it here I needed to be going? Hmm. Yes, looks like it. Okay. Right, this is also an area, isn't it? I keep forgetting that there's a thing here. Maybe I should go look at that. I'm right here. Might as well. Okay, let's go check that out first. Slight detour, guys. Uh, yeah, I need to go through here. And by here, I mean here. Is it free money? It's faster to deal with you there than anywhere else. Okay. Uh, right. This is the Royal Waterways map. I keep forgetting that all this is on the Royal Waterways map. Right. I forgot. The way to get into the sewers... I forget how to get into the sewers the original way, but the new way is to go this way. Adorable. Okay. Sewers, sewers, sewers. Ow. Sorry, I thought you were the other guy. Uh, did I ever go back to that guy who... I never went back to that other salesman, did I? 
Where was that other salesman? I remember, I just remember he said he was here. Is he up here? Sorry, I just realized that I never went back to the shop. <coughs> oh, throat. Uh, it says the shop's this way. Oh, it's here, right. Walrus son, Gian. Right, he's the relic seeker. Bellamy Arthur. Ooh, right. He buys these. Not right now, but I will come back with when I need money. Okay, back in the sewers. So. Yeah, let's go that way. Uh, oh, yep. Knew it was there. Okay, let me heal that again. Thank you. Okay, anyways. Um, right, that's the up is to the... What am I thinking? That's what that up is. Okay, go down here. Yeah, that was worth it. For some reason, you didn't see me. Also. Okay, wrong way. Let's go back this way. Must have been revenge for his friend who couldn't hit me. Okay, you just arbitrarily decide to jump higher sometimes. And I am not okay with that. And I'm gonna go over here first. That was a bit faster than normal. This sideways bench is great. I still say that should be something. Mm. Hop up, up, up. Wrong way. Hop up, up, up. There's going to be a lot of wrong ways in the sewers, just because they're sewers. What do you expect of me? Except getting lost in the sewers. Uh... What the heck was that? No, seriously, what the heck was that? Firstly, I never seem to have gone up here. Was there a reason for that? Or did I just not come up here for some reason? Okay. I don't know why I didn't come up here last time, but I guess I'm... I mean, I guess I was sort of semi-monofocused, but... Boss, oh yeah. What even is this? I love everything about this boss. Like, this is the most ludicrous thing I've ever seen. This is like trying to fight a. This be like. Trying to make a realistic Captain Jack Sparrow. Like a live action. Well, I mean, it's already kind of live action. You know what I mean. Like, Captain Jack Sparrow is a cartoon character. Like, it would be trying to make him realistic. Just that, this level of like, what, no. It's just, this is lunacy. I feel like I'm fighting a superhero who 
like specializes in craft. Now he's targeting me. Lunacy. Sheer lunacy. See, this is a boss that you sh like, I feel like is, like, if you, if you die first time, it's like, okay, whatever. But if you don't die first time, that's normal. Like, this boss feels like it's meant to be a joke. Oh, I was literally one away. See, yeah, I'm not mad that I beat this first try. Unlike the one time that I was mad that I beat a boss first try. But let's see. What's this achievement? Would you go to the achievements? No, not friends who play. Back. Now go to... Thank you. Hard to click on the achievements. Defeat the Dung Defender. Great. Okay. That's, I expected that, but. God, the Dung Defender. Defender's Crest. Okay. Oh, uh, that's a badge, obviously. Or a charm. Causes the bear to emit a heroic odor. Right. What else should I have possibly expected from this boss? That was utter lunacy. That's great. Okay, well, I know what I'm calling this episode. The, something like the Dung Defender or something. There's nothing else I could possibly t call it. Wait. Did that just suck up all the acid? Please tell me that just sucked up all the acid. Oh, that's so nice. That is a really nice shortcut. You know, screw it. Get uh, screw it. I'm getting out of here, and I'm gonna go and uh, get my map updated, cause it's right there. It's so easy now. Yeah, that's so nice. Okay, uh, fastest would be this one that doesn't, you know, cause ultra lag. Thank you. Ow. Okay, me taking damage to you is, like, a joke. More of a joke than the actual joke fight that I just had. That's great. Oh. See, that that's the kind of boss where it's like, if you're gonna make a boss a joke, that's how you make a boss a joke. Just make it ham. Like, the dung defender. That's great. Because how else would you fight a dung beetle in this game? You can't make that serious. That's great. Oh, I am gonna... I'm gonna remember this for a while. That's great. Oh, the Dung Defender. Ow. Okay. Out we go. So yeah, it looks like this is vacuuming up all the... the acid. Uh, that might not be the case, but that's what it looks like it's doing. Based on just, you know, context clues. Uh, wait a second. Okay, that is. Never mind. I thought there was a secret room in there. So does that just open up other areas now? That would be cool if so.
Okay, um... That's just random castle wall. Yeah, we're sort of going the right way. There's a couple different locations it looks like you can go to. And I'm... Actually, I'm going to the wrong one. Let me go to the other one first. To the left, to the left, to the left. Now kick. Yep, there it is. Come on, wake up. Thank you. Thank you. Ha ha. Oh, let me give a save first. I'm right here, might as well update the map. Literally right here. It's like just a free map update. Okay. Oh, interesting. So it's just a giant room. All right. Jump too high. I'll leave that one to blow itself up. Okay, I was gonna say, this room is big, but yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Okay, don't die, I guess. What is the point of this place? Let me heal up first. Before something accidentally kills me. Well, accidentally kills me, but worth it saying that, but purposely kills me. Heal up here again. Come on, come on, fight me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wait. Nope, definitely nothing there. Okay. So many maggots. Where are we going there? Obvious money. Oh, 
top big secret. Okay, so both these have an exit to them. I'm going to take the other one first. Because it seems a bit more hidden. Ugh, maggots. Gross. Okay. I'm sorry. The fluke worm. For some reason, I get the feeling that this boss is called the fluke worm because they, people kept losing to it and said that was just a fluke. Over and over again. Now, that might just be, you know... It might just be at baseless assumptions on my part, but tell me that doesn't fit. That was just a fluke. Oh, so he's a fluke worm. What? Uh, sure. Okay, we can call him that, I guess. Okay, I'm getting very ticked off at you. <laughs> yeah. This. My apologies. I had that backwards. This isn't a case of people kept losing to this guy and said that's just a fluke. It's people won against this guy and they said that's just a fluke. It is clearly you aren't supposed to win against this guy without it being a fluke. Ha. Huh. Okay. Once again, we return to fighting against ourselves. actually able to swing in the water, by the way. That worked surprisingly well at damaging him. Not perfectly, but like surprisingly well. Dang it. That wasn't what I meant to do. I think that resets the boss, too. Dang it. What I was meaning to do is come over here, stand, and heal, and then go back. 
because he doesn't give you time to heal otherwise. Oh crap, they keep coming at you! Okay. You know what, I think that's cheap. I'll take that as a cheap. Because again, healing's a major part of the game, and they don't give you time to heal without dying. So literally, it, this is a case of if you... Even if you say it's cheap how I'm healing, I'm still supposed to be able to heal, and the game has given me time to heal, but then also... If I use that method of healing, if I use that method of healing, they just send guys right down that path until I die, which is also just as unfair. Guess that's it, you're only supposed to heal like one at a time or two at a time. Oh. Well, now I feel stupid. Luke Nest. Transforms the vengeful spirit into a horde of volatile baby flukes. <laughs> wow, okay. That's, uh... Weird as heck. And I thought the dung enforcer was weird. Okay. These past few bosses have just been weird. Which is good. I like weird. Weird is always good. Oh, that's not true. Weird is mostly good. Die. Die. Terrible, terrible creatures. Uh, up here. Please tell me you're not. No, you're not. Good. Okay. Into the room we go. And this is well, a large room. With more maggots. Why won't you all just die? Die! No. Stay dead. I... Uh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, goodness. Okay. go. No more of whatever the heck that was. Well, I say no more, but there's probably like six more in this room. It is a maze after all with long corridors built for those guys. Okay. 
Let me heal. Two, three. Okay, continuing on. Let's see. More of you. Well, that's not that hard. Die. Wait a few seconds. Die. Okay. Uh. Okay, this is a wall. Sorry, half the time it... I did hear something. I wasn't crazy. Uh, but yeah, in this game, half the time it's hard to tell what's a wall and what's not a wall. Right. Right. I didn't kill him. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was a bad move on my part. <sighs> Thanks, sword, for being just a few seconds late. Okay. Well, down we go again. It shouldn't be that hard to get back there. trying to go up. And we go. Die, maggots, die. No more terrible maggots. Please won't you all just go die now? Please die, Mr. Maggots, die please. I hear you. Heal. Thank you. Come on! Try again. Try again. Missed. 
Didn't know there'd be enough time for that either, so good to know. Right. We'll not do that. Wrong one. This one. have no need for your garbage any longer. A deep hole. Okay, apparently I can't go that way. A cocoon chained with a simple lock. Please tell me somewhere in here I find a simple key. It would kind of be annoying if I didn't find a simple key. Not impossible, just annoying. Lots of precise platforming that isn't all that precise, but precise enough. Okay, what's this? Oh, wait, this is the door? Oh, okay. How did I not see this the first time? Has a different entrance? Oh, okay. I'm so confused. Apparently there's two entrances, and somehow I lucked onto the second one, even though it looks very similar to the first one. I don't know. Just go in that one, I guess. Oh, dang it, no. Let's try that again. So. Now that we know this is definitely a different entrance. I'm getting a lot of GPU problems in here too. What is with this place? The note guys, that isn't just you seeing that. I see that problem too. That's Something to do with this room. This room is not optimized well.
It's a nice shortcut. Cool. Nice, I guess. I don't have anything to sell to this guy yet, do I? Or not sell, but like, I don't have any more... Yeah, I don't have any more, uh, metal. Which is something you need to buy from this guy. Wait. Three pale ore. Okay. That is what I thought. Okay, so... Looking at this, well, first off, I need a bench, don't I? Well, there's a nearby one. Let's go to that one. Doop, 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 doop. This isn't that bad one, is it? Yeah, this is that laggy one. Oh. Let me get out of here before the lag overtakes my computer more. That's bad. Okay, get out of here. My computer can't handle those graphics. Move. Okay. So yeah, down there in the junk pit, there is a cocoon. And I need a simple key. I feel like I'm running out of simple keys. Okay. I guess before we end, we can go back to this area and check the other one out. That was kinda... Anticlimactic. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, not this one, right? Yeah, it's faster to go the other one. I think. No time for you. No rest for the wicked. Or in this case, the righteous. But I thank you for your contributions nonetheless. So the only way to get in there is to go from this side. Because you have to dash across. I'm saddened at the loss of the... the that, that boss. The Dung Enforcer. That's, that's great. None shall replace the Dung Enforcer. For who can strive so high as he... Not. Come on. Up. Oh, thank you. Thinking. 
Okay, so this hasn't lowered the acid any. So what the heck was with that? Not message, but that, like, animation where basically they looked like they were removing the acid. Because obviously this must be a back, a back way. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, totally off base. Now we're in the new area. Come on. Oh, holy crap. <sighs> Literally, that's what I was thinking was about to happen. So I was like, oh crap, I should not be here. Okay, my stupidity aside, let's get back there quickly. Just to make sure. Uh, it's about just as fast the other way, I guess. Oh, hold on. I didn't miss that. I didn't miss either of these. And all kinds of new things today. I'm sorry. Hmm, don't take something if it isn't yours. That's the law. Everything you see, it belongs to me. Don't be angry. I'll share my food with you if you give me Geo. No. Why don't you have enough Geo? I won't share my food if you don't have enough Geo. Well, to be fair, I just died. So that might be part of the reason. Oh yeah, I guess I'm gonna get a little bit more Geo and see what the heck his food is. I'm gonna go this way. So let me go this way first. See if we can find any guys over here. Besides you. Okay. Nothing there. I hear you. Give me your money, please. Oh! Enough money. Perfect. Back we go momentarily. Sorry guys, I'm getting distracted by other things. Important other things, but other things are less. Okay, what food do you have in here? The water brings me everything that I need. This geo is mine now. Don't try to take it back. Here, take your food with you when you leave. Oh, that's nice. So he's literally a rancid food seller. A rancid egg seller. Need rancid eggs? Buy them from him. But at a price. Okay, let's get out of here. I need to go from here to the right, probably through a long convoluted maze, but to the right nonetheless. Nope. 
My jump wasn't working. Well, it was, but... The bad thing about the jump is it isn't as fast as the, uh... Oh, my. It isn't as fast as the, uh... The dash. So you can't... So jump dashing doesn't always work. As if to prove myself wrong, I immediately start jump dashing. Yeah, that's easier than I thought it'd be. Now do this again. There we go. I think this is the way I went. Nope. Okay. Nope. Wait. Heal, heal, heal. That, that bounce back is both a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Okay. This way. I have much more money than I thought I would. Okay, no more of that garbage. I don't have time for that. Isma's Grove. Nope. Okay. like a small challenge area to try to get to Eastmas Grove. It does appear that way. Eastmas Tear. Acid shall be repelled. Oh, thank God. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. This is so nice. Get out of here, friend. Oh, the acid armor. Uh, okay, but I actually want to go back that way because there looked like there might be more stuff down there. Uh, also, nothing over here, right? nice place where you could use your like speed to propel yourself through the water that'd be a nice way to like speed yourself up in water Just use your like I don't know super dash be like a propellant yep there it is uh yeah Okay, well with that, 
finally done. Where the heck should I go to save? I was not expecting to get that, but it doesn't surprise me at all that I got that. I think this finally means I could go further in that, uh, that one area if I wanted to. Uh, though I probably won't end up doing so because that whole area is, uh, the map for that area is behind what's her, what's his face, that wall. if I die in that room, if it'll... Because I can cancel my j dash. Okay, hold on. Let me try going from the other side. I think if I go this way... There we go. Okay. Where's near save? Uh, probably down here. So we'll go down here. Not fall into spikes. Missed. I'm gonna save in here. Acid armor. You have no idea how much I wanted you. Which means that we have basically covered that whole area. Except for the junk pit with its simple key. Which I need to remember. So I'm gonna put a marker there if I can remember how to put a marker on the map. Uh, A, hey, Marcus. Thank you. Uh, I lost my location. Okay. So with that, guys, I'm gonna draw this episode to a close. But until next time, I hope you all have a great next couple days. And we will see you on the next Older Bros streams right here on Two Bros Game Night. See you all next time.